Hi there, welcome to the Railway Journey. Today we're visiting three railway stations operated by West Midlands Trains, Penkridge, Tabridge Parkway and Bescott Stadium. Now I'm going to address something here because as you know I'm not at a railway station. The reason for visiting these railway stations today is because there's engineering works on the Trent Valley Line. Now the reason for the closure of the Trent Valley Line is they're replacing a thousand metres of track in the Nuneaton area and also upgrading the signalling of the Trent Valley Line as well. It's a £58 million project. So there is actually diverted trays on the Stour Valley Lines and the lines that go by Bescott and Tabridge Parkway for Banty West Coast. And there's some freight trays as well diverted. So in order to get to Stafford, I've got to get the bus. So I'm waiting for the 826 Chase Rider service to take me to Stafford. So after a five minute walk from the town centre, I made it to Stafford Railway Station. I'm here to catch the 0944 London North Western Railway Service to take us to our first destination, Penkridge. Now we'll be filming at Penkridge for an hour, filming the trains passing by. But it arrives about 9.41 and sits here for about three minutes, so I'd better go down the bottom end of Platform 4, or the middle of Platform 4, to catch this train to Penkridge. Opened on the 4th of July 1837 by the Grand Junction Railway lies this lovely station that I'm currently standing at. This is Penkridge Railway Station, operated by West Midlands Railway and it does have two platforms. The platforms however are a little staggered and the best advice I can give you if you want to film trains at Penkridge is to be at the north end of Platform 2 heading towards Stafford. The one thing I do love about Penkridge Railway Station is its history. As I mentioned at the start, it was opened in 1837. However though, the condition of this station being open because this railway line actually crosses the land of Baron Hatterton. And he agreed for trains to run across his land, except for the condition was you had to build a railway station here and have two trains stopping here per day. So the Grand Junction Railway agreed to it and that's why Penkridge opened. However though, in 1962 it was threatened for closure Surprise. and the Baron Hatterton at the time decided if you're going to close Penkridge Railway Station we're going to rip up the tracks and you won't have rights for our land. And since then, Penkridge remained open and it's the only intermediate station between Stafford and Wolverhampton. So the diverts we're getting through Penkridge, Tabridge, Parkway and Bescott Stadium today are Avanti West Coast services. Now Avanti do pass through here with their services towards Scotland from London Euston. However though we are getting the Liverpool Live Street, the Manchester Piccadilly and the Glasgow Central services that run along the Trent Valley lines through here. But also a key thing we are getting through here today which we don't get much of is we're getting a lot of freight trains as well. So 
So if you ever come to Penkridge Railway Station, do it on a divert day when trains divert away from the Trent Valley Line. You actually get more than you bargain for at Penkridge Railway Station. Like typical at Penkridge Railway Station, you just get four Class 350s to zeros, two cross country voyages each way, and two Vanity West Coast Pendolinos or voyages each way. And sometimes you get the old freight train as well, but being here today with more Pendolinos, it's been busier than ever. Now our next train is actually going to take us to Tabridge Parkway direct. Now the reason the crew Birmingham services are going by Tabridge Parkway is to future-proof the service for two new stations, Willhall and Darleston. They're not built at the moment, but they are currently being built. So we're going to cash this 1046 London North Western Railway service now to take us to Tabridge Parkway Railway Station and get some more diverted trade through that location. The Grand Junction Railway built a line through here in 1837. However, the station I'm currently standing on wasn't built till the 4th of June 1990 by British Rail. This station is Tabridge Parkway and used to have London services stopping here as well. There used to be a company called Wrexham and Shropshire who used to stop here with services from Wrexham General to London Marleybone. And there was also that infamous working from Rugy Trent Valley to London Euston by a Birmingham New Street which wasn't really successful. It was so bad, they had to cut it back to Birmingham International. But this station right here is Tambridge Parkway Station. West Midlands Railway operated and it does have two platforms. The sun at the moment is above this uh, bridge right here, this viaduct. However though, the sun is in the clouds at the moment so I can show you this viaduct perfectly. It's actually not a viaduct, it's an aqueduct. Because above the railway line that crosses over is the Tame Valley Canal. It's actually a canal that crosses over the railway here. But you can get some stunning views of trains under that aqueduct coming into Tambridge Parkway Station. Some stunning photos indeed. However though, Tambridge Parkway Station also takes its name from the nearby River Tame. That's how it's named Tambridge Parkway. So while I've got six minutes to spare, I'm actually going to go over to platform two to catch the next train to Bescott Stadium at 12.17. So I can have an hour's filming at Bescott Stadium station. Unfortunately though, it's about a few minutes walk from one platform to the other because you've got to go over the railway bridge and you've got to go down the ramp to get to the other side.
approaching Escort Stadium. Built on the 1st of May 1850 by the London and North Western Railway lies this station right here, Bescott Stadium. However though, when it was opened it was named Bescott. It wasn't until August 1850 it was renamed to Bescott Junction and then it wasn't until 1990 when the station was named from Bescott Junction to Bescott Stadium. The reason it's named Bescott Stadium is because the nearby Warsaw Football Club plays at Bescott Stadium. I'll be honest, it's just that busy here at Bescott Stadium today. You just don't have time to do a piece of the camera here with everything moving just so quickly. Most of the time, Bescott Stadium station is usually dead. All you get is the 350s and the odd freight train, but it's just so busy today. However, though, we do have something interesting coming through, which is why we've got a load of enthusiasts here waiting for OZ55 movement from Kidderminster Seven Valley Railway to Bower Hill LIP. Should have a Delta on it. So I'm now waiting for the 1320 West Midlands Railway Service to take me to Warsaw and I'm going to head back to Hensford to get a replacement bus back to Rougie Town. Sometimes Warsaw Station can be a hit and a miss. Now I was going to do a massive rant here but to be honest there's just so many people here I don't think a rant's a good idea today but the reason of the rant was because sometimes you get some arsey passengers here who don't like to be filmed and sometimes they start having a go at you and that's it really, but sometimes it's nice here as well, but don't come on match days. I came here on a match day once and I had commentary fans on this platform and they were like really idiots towards me, let's just say that. Anyway, our train's arriving now, let's get to Warsaw Station. The train I was going to catch has just pulled out. That's my fault because I went to get a Costa. <laughs> Half an hour to the next train now. Oh well. Yeah, that Costa cost me a train back to Hensford. Wonder what the delay repay would say. 
Why is your tray cancelled or running late? I went to get a coffee. Yeah, that's not going to work, is it? But anyway, it doesn't matter because I'm not in a rush to get back to Rugeley, so it's fine. I think it did leave at 13.36 when it meant to leave at 13.37. They do have a habit of leaving about a minute early. But anyway, it doesn't matter, like I said, I'm not in a rush to get back to Rugeley, so I waited for the 14.12 now, West Midlands Railway Service, to take you to Hensford, and then it's a replacement bus back to Rugeley. So we're now made to Hensford and just right down there is the replacement bus that's going to take you back to Rugeley. Now it's not going to take you back to the railway station but it's going to take you to a bus stop just by Wharf Road. So we're going to hop on this bus now and then hopefully get back to Rugeley. This is Wharf Road bus stop. This is where the railway place of buses pick up and drop off at. Rougie Town Station is just up that road right there on Wharf Road. So I'm going to Rougie Town Railway Station to talk about today's journey up there. So we're now at Rougie Town Railway Station. The thing is though, because of the engineer work on the Trent Valley Line, the procession actually starts just before Rushi Town Railway Station. So that's why trains are terminated at Hensford instead of going all the way to Rushi Trent Valley. Because the procession move for Network Rail starts before Rushi Town Railway Station. However, though, we did get quite a bit of fun on the diverts today. At Penkridge, we got about four different freight trains, roughly in a space of an hour, passing through that location. At Penkridge, if there's any closures of the Trent Valley Line, Penkridge is always a good location to go to. You get more traffic than usual. Taybridge Parkway, apart from the sub being in the way, it's really been all right at Taybridge Parkway. We've got a Banty West Coast passing through Taybridge Parkway. We've got a few freight trains and we've got the local services as well. And at Best Got Stadium, that OZ55 move, which was a 57 and a Class 55 Delta, that was the icing of the cake for today's journey. And honestly, when I planned these the day before, I actually knew about that yesterday, but I wanted to keep it a secret till we got to Bescott Stadium Station. But sometimes diverting traffic is a good thing because you get stuff in different locations you don't usually get. But sometimes it can be a pain because it can cause a massive congestion. And that was today's journey all about, to be honest. The diverts were awesome. Yes, there was a few trades running late, like a train out of Tabridge Parkway to Bescott Stadium that I was catching was running about seven minutes late. But other than that, it has really been an excellent day. So I'm going to head off home now. Feel free to hit that subscribe button. Please smash that subscribe button. Thank you very much. Stay safe. I'll see you on the rails pretty soon for another railway journey. Take care and stay safe.